and this is the first time you're really able to take the very thing that you're going to do tomorrow, rehearse it today, and then be better able to deal with it and when you actually do it in a live patient. So if I'm going to treat an aneurysm or treat a tumor, I know what it looks like, I've seen the approach I'm going to use, I know what's behind it, what to beware of, and it makes me that much more prepared to deal with the surgery. So as a surgeon now, I'm not only seeing it, but I'm changing the system. You see I'm putting a clip in, this is what I'd be doing at surgery, so my hand will mimic what I do. And as I go by the blood vessels, you see they move a little bit, which is what they'd normally do. And if I move them too much, obviously they'll rupture, but now I have the clip in good position and now I can start to close it and you can see the aneurysm changing shape. The neck gets smaller as it gets closed off and that's what it looks like just when we do its surgery and then the aneurysm finally closes. So what I've done now is I've placed the aneurysm clip and you can see it in place here pinching off the neck of the aneurysm. What I want to know is have I left the normal blood vessels open because one of the mistakes I can make is closing off this blood supply to the normal brain instead of just to the aneurysm. Well at surgery I'm you know sort of stuck looking at it here or wondering or if I were just to practice in my mind's eye I wouldn't be able to know what I'm doing. But here I can actually take the scene, rotate it completely and say, look, now I can see that the aneurysm is closed off, this blood vessel is open, this is open, and the clip is beyond the aneurysm neck, which is exactly what I want to do. This is almost a scene that I can't even see at surgery because I'm not able to really rotate the scene 360 degrees like I can here. So you can see now we're looking from the back side of the aneurysm and able to inspect it completely. And I can say, wow, if I put the clip on just like that, I'll know I've put it in the right place and I've done my job. So it's very difficult for a surgeon to have to walk away from the operating table, change gloves perhaps, and go to a computer screen. What we have today allows us to actually scroll through multiple images and multiple views while never having to leave the place where we're operating, that is, at the head of the table. And this is done by a combination of simple movements of the hands, which is linked to the computer screen, to allow us to scroll through the images more easily. So I can go left or right, up or down, and in or out in all three planes, really allowing me to capture, in essence, a very good 3D image of not only where I am now, but where I want to be. And all you have to do, again, is simply move your hand, activate the system, and try to find that image exactly the way you want it, and then compare that to where you're working. And this is an essentially a novel idea to be able, essentially, to have a 3D viewer right at your fingertips without ever leaving the operative field. And you can see the hand movements are very simple and intuitive, easy to use, and respond instantly on the screen that I'm looking at in front of me.